when I was assigned to the as a mechanic to the motor pool, I uh, come out of the mess hall one day and the executive uh, officer driver come up to me. Something my Jeep ain't running very good. He says, you need to road test it. I says I can't road test it. I says we don't have a road test time. It was against the the ordinances of the motor pole to road test a vehicle without a road test sign on it. He said, well, nobody will catch us. And I said, no, I said, can't do it. And so he says, uh, oh, come on. And so he talked me into it. Over there in Japan, there's a lot of cane. It grows about as big around as your little finger. And it's just really thick. And so we started up this one road, and it, it was so steep, the only way you could go up it would be to put the Jeep in four-wheel drive low range. And so we started up, and we got about halfway up, and this two-and-a-half-ton truck stopped and started backing down the same road we were coming up. And I knew there was no way that they could stop without running into us because it was so steep. They'd just slide into us. So I turned to turned and we got on that cane and the Jeep started sliding sideways and the back wheel on my side fell into a foxhole and so the Jeep started to roll so I shut the Jeep off, shoved the driver out on the top side and I figured I could run around the back side before it rolled over. When I stepped out I got on that cane and my feet slipped out from under me and the Jeep rolled over the top of me. All I had was a lump on the back of my head where I hit the Jeep when my feet slipped out from under me. And this kid grabbed me and shook me. He says, you are out. I said, I'm fine. Leave me alone. Let's go check out the Jeep. He says, you can't be fine. He says, that Jeep rolled over the top. I said, there's nothing wrong with me. Leave me alone. <laughs> we had the windshield folded down, and uh, it was all broken up, and the seats were all broken up. The steering wheel was all broken up, and the fenders was all bent in around the tire. They had a hydraulic jack and we jacked the corners of the fender out. He stopped at the dispatch and we snuck past him and pulled it around and parked it in our stall. Our mess sergeant had a brother that run the salvage yard. He says, give me the money. He says, I'll go and buy a fifth of whiskey and you take the fifth of whiskey down and give it to him and he'll give you all the parts you need. So we went down and got a new windshield off in a wreck Jeep, got two new seats and a steering wheel, all the parts that we needed. And we went back and uh, we got it all fixed back up. And the next day, the mess sergeant sent me over to the supply room for some steel wool. And I stepped outside of the mess hall and the first sergeant said, Salter, come here. I figured somebody had told him that I'd wrecked the Jeep. But we had it all fixed up and painted and by midnight that night. So we got away with it.